Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am back. Yay! <laughs> I know I've been gone for a minute, but I always tell you it's hard for me to do your readings when I am not in the right spirit. I got to make sure that I am centered and I am making sure and making sure that I am receiving the right and correct messages that I'm hearing for you. So as I always begin, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to the channel. Thank you for the comments that you leave. I read every last one of them. Just a little bit about the reading that we're about to do. This is your general reading for July, okay? Anything can happen in this reading. Anything can come out and there will be an extended for this. So if you're a part of our Patreon, you'll get an opportunity to see all of the extendeds. Okay, that link can be found below. Now you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Oh, hello to our cross watchers. Don't forget that the messages can flip flop. Okay, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could definitely relate to your partner. Now, there's no time limit on these readings. It could have happened three months ago, could happen today, could happen in the very near future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Subscribe to our channel right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that little bell and every time we will release a reading, you will be notified, okay? Don't forget we do private readings and information pertaining to our private readings can be found below. All right, until now, we are ready to get started back in full force for your readings. On to your readings. Hello, my Sagittarius. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And this is your general reading for July. There will be an extended on this, okay? So information pertaining to the extended can be found below. Or you can just join our Patreon. And that link is below as well, and you'll get to see all of the extendeds, okay? All right, so let's just get right into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Head, Universal Messages need to go forward for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for July 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of... Okay. Are there any more messages for the sign of Sagittarius? Shuffle three more times. Okay, there it is. Okay, Holy Spirit. Divine Creator Universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for July 2020. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius. All right. All right. So let's see what the first card out is for you. Be gentle with yourself. Somebody else got this. I cannot remember. So you might be um, hard on yourself for some strange reason, Sagittarius. A situation could have happened um, that made you second guess if you handled it right. And maybe you're a little hard on yourself. Maybe you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself right now to get things done. Take care of business and you're not really relaxing. Maybe you're not really taking care of your health right now. Okay, There's something going on where you're really not putting the time in to handle you, okay? It could be something as simple as not handling your um, your your business with your car or um, your, ha your room could be a mess or your house could be a mess. All of that can kind of weigh on your mind. If, you're, if your life is not in order, it will, be, it will be hard on you. It brings about stress. So that's what Spirit is saying. Be gentle with yourself right now. Be gentle with yourself could mean just evaluate everything that needs to be done Take a breather and then begin to do what you can just a little bit at a time, okay? Um, write about your feelings, thoughts. Write about your thoughts and your feelings. So that's exactly what I'm just saying there. I'm feeling like with some of you, you might need to make a list of everything you need to do to get yourself organized. Why am I feeling like organization is a big thing with you for the month of July? It's like you have to get yourself organized have to get yourself together see yeah you got to let go of things that's not serving your highest good right now that might be people okay relationships 
Whatever's not serving your highest good right now, it could be your clothes closet being filled with a whole lot of clothes and shoes and stuff that you don't even wear anymore. And it's cluttering. You're needing to let go of whatever's not serving your highest good, no matter what form that's coming in, a person or a situation, okay? And you need to be assertive in doing it. Yes, this is exactly what we've been, been saying. You need to be assertive in really getting yourself in order. Okay, so let's just dig a little deeper here, get more into what's happening in these situations. Um, definitely going to be clarifying, let go in your extended, okay? Uh, trying to figure out what you need to let go of and what's in reference to, reference to you being gentle with yourself. We're going to deal with definitely those. We're going to clarify those in your extended, okay? But right now, let's just... Begin to pull the layers off and see what's going on in the situation with you for July, your general reading. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal message just need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for July 2020. The message just need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? All right, yeah, there it is right there. Yeah. yeah. If you if you don't get yourself in order, spirit's gonna do it. Spirit's gonna do it. Any more messages for the sign of Sagittarius? All right. Yeah. See, there's your new beginning right there. But you you got to get yourself in order. Okay. Um, Sagittarius. 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 Let's see if you have any angel numbers coming through. Yes, you do. You got the tower here, which is a 16, and you're ending off with an 8 right here. So, 888 is definitely coming through for you, okay? You could be dealing with fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, this could be you in your own reading, though, okay? You got the Knight of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pentacles coming through, Earth signs. Um, you got the Fool here, which could be Aries or an Air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And then you got swords here, which is also um, air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Just keep in mind, it could be any sign, though, okay? And they're just taking on the energy of the sign. All right, so you got the tower, knight of pentacles, six of swords in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse, and your overarching energy is the fool, okay? Um, this is a new beginning. This is a fresh start, okay? This is you starting to take a risk, you know, stepping out into um, uncharted territory possibly. But I feel like this is like just a new beginning. But you got to let go first, Sagittarius. You got to get yourself in order. That's just it. You're going to have to write some stuff down to get yourself in order. You're going to have to see it on paper, okay? If you're not one to make lists, you really need to make a list of organizing your life, okay? And you need to be very assertive in doing this. Because you're needing order because you really got to figure out at this point, what do you need to let go of so this new beginning can come in, okay? Because something is definitely coming to an end with the tower here, okay? Something is definitely coming to an end. Something is over. Spirit is making sure that it's over, okay? Um, and that's being coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a very reliable person, very hardworking person, you know, handles their business. And so that's that's what that's the energy I feel like you need to come in with, okay? You need to be reliable. You need to be hardworking and handling your business with this situation, okay? Because something is going to be coming to an end. Six of Swords in reverse. This is um, unresolved issues. This is emotional baggage, okay? So you are needing to um, really handle these issues that are unresolved. Okay, clearly there is unresolved issues here. I mean, we, we said that from the very first, you know, when, when Be Gentle With Yourself came out. I felt like there was something that you needed to take care of, taking care of your business, okay? So there's unresolved issues that need to, need to ha happen. This could also represent somebody resisting a change. You could be resisting this change. You could be resisting um, whatever it is that you need to take care of because with this eight of pentacles in reverse, this is not having any inspiration or motivation to do anything. And this is what we're talking about. You got to handle your business. You got to handle your business. That's why spirit says you got to be assertive. 
You got to be assertive. You got to be assertive. So we're going to dig a little deeper into this reading. Um, I'm going to look a little further behind here to give you some advice on where this is going. Okay. How you need to pull up out of this um, situation that you're in. And then we're definitely going to be clarifying. Um, let go. I'm going to definitely have to clarify the top tower and be gentle with yourself. Those are the ones I know for sure we're going to be clarifying when we go into your extended. Okay. Might do a little bit more clarification, but those three coming up out the box. <laughs> okay. All right, my loves. If you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. All right. Meet me on the other side for your extended. Bye-bye.